privately chat me in the Zoom and ask me the questions privately as well. So that seems to be working uh, pretty reasonably. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm, first, I'm gonna take a couple of measurements before I even start laying stuff down. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple of measurements like the width of the hips. Like I'm gonna take this measurement side to side and I'm just gonna turn it up and see like how big should I be making this first shape. If I take that and turn it side to side once, twice, and a bit, so it's like if I take that shape, it's width here once, twice, and a bit puts me to the top. So, so that's a reasonable width. I'm thinking something like this to this. I got dust on my fingers already, dusting up my page. Ugly comes off really easily. All right, and I'm using a different mic this time, so just if it's, it should be a better quality uh, sound, but it's further away from me. So let me know if it's, if I sound too quiet or something like that, just let me know in the chat and I'll try and get it fixed. All right, so, boom. So I think that's gonna be the top of that shape and then I'm gonna go like that. If I take the height of this shape, I'm gonna check and see how many times it goes side to side. Height goes once, like one and a half. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so I feel pretty comfortable here. is the middle of this shape. It's almost like I have a teardrop shape on this right gluteus area. It's kind of slants down. It does, it's not perfectly straight side to side. It kind of slants down like this. Then there's a flat spot. Well, we might have gone overboard right there. So this angled down to about there. Down here. Straight line there. I'm going to go ahead. I overshot right here with that little line, but because I'm being light, I can just pop that off with my eraser. Just really light, light eraser work. You'll notice I'm doing the straight line block in version of this. It's easier for me to make decisions about where things need to be if, I, if I'm using this straight line block in technique. I can fix like that angle seems to be a little too sharp and it doesn't really mimic the curve very well. So I can, I can restate that in a way that's a little more, a little more accurate. Let's see. This. this one goes down and in slightly and then it's almost like boom boom there's a little triangle here and I'm just this is like the weight of the pencil it's very very light touch here so make sure that when you're doing this you're not pressing with that pencil this looks kind of on a perfectly black page. This looks pretty aggressive. It looks pretty light in value. But once I really start putting the lights in, it drops off pretty drastically. So I just need to make sure I've saved space for that to happen. All right, this comes slightly up. over like so, down, in like this, and it's almost a straight shot back over here. A little bit of connection there. All right, now I, this is my starting shape. I feel pretty decent about this shape, um, but I'm gonna do a little bit of measuring just to make sure this shape makes sense with the shape that I've 
that I see up there. I'm not just going to plow onward. I want to make sure this shape is the right size, for instance. Like if I measure out and it turns out that I made it a little too big and it's going to run me off the top of the page or something, I need to know that now so I can adjust it properly. Um, I also want to make sure it's the right size relative to itself. Is it wider than it is tall? Is, are the features that are happening here in line with what I see in the reference? So let's check that real quick. Uh, I'm going to do the height versus width again of the shape. So there's the height of that. And I'm, this is the measurement I'm taking on my screen. I'm taking this height right here and I'm just turning it sideways and saying, okay, that's where, if I take that height and turn it sideways, it goes to about here. If I go one more time right there, it runs me about half, maybe a little slightly more than half. So I'm gonna check my reference for that real quick. One height there, one runs me right to that shadow, and two, it's more than half. So if I go like this on the reference, on the screen and turn it sideways, I should be hitting the shadow here. So I think I've got this too tall and maybe a good bit too tall. And if I look over there, that's backed up by what I see up there. This needs to come up like that. So I'm going to fix that. Luckily, I'm drawing so lightly that I can just tap this with the eraser and I'm not going to scrub. You'll never, you'll never be able to tell there was a line there because of how light things are being drawn. All right, check again. This down is just about straight. There is a little sliver over here as well. I'm going to get that. Right now I'm going to check this measurement again. That's a little better, but still not quite what I what I see. That is the same size as that. So this is the same size as this. Looks good. Uh, so I think I'm a little bit too tall still here because and this maybe is a little bit too high as well. So I'm just teasing this shape into shape. Before I get too excited about this, I'm going to go ahead and measure the width of this shape and I'm just going to go up and see what I end up with. So this is what I did before. If I take the overall width and go once, twice, and like a, a quarter. So this should go once, twice, and like a quarter. So my head's going to be right at the top of, my, of this page here. Um, I have to ask myself, is that really what I want? Do I really want my the head of this image to be that high? Let me just double check that reference again. Width, and it goes once, twice, and like the little between a third and a half. Shape once, twice, between, that's running me right to the top of the page. I don't like that. I don't want to do that. I don't want my head to be up here dinking the top of my page. So even though I've worked for 10 minutes or whatever on this shape, I want this shape to be such that it doesn't go all the way up to the top of the page like that. So can I make it, can I just make it narrower? I don't think so. Boom. No, if anything, it needs to be taller. Um, well, maybe I can make it narrower. If I go like this to that, no, that's make that's wanting to make it wider. Boom. 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 So I am just going to move things down. And this is going to be painful, but it's going to be worth it in the end because of where this is sending me. So I'm just going to take some of these points and just move them down. So there's how far down that went. There's my new line. So that means this point, that point, 
is about here. I'm going to get rid of this stuff because I'm going to have to redraw it anyway. So these tails have got to go. This one too, I would say, got to go. I'm just trying to move everything straight down. That's that size, so that means this is going to start there. I'm just going to be real basic with it at first so I can get it moved. That's, that first move down is like that, so this is going to be about like that. This is painful, I don't want to do this, but it, I need to. I can't just go, well, it is what it is. I'm not going to change it because that's hard. The drawing deserves more than that. So I'm going to give it more than that. I really don't want to go bonkers with the eraser here, but luckily we're working in white charcoal and it comes up pretty easily. This is why you don't press at the start of the drawing. You don't press hard because this becomes way more difficult if you're drawing, if your white charcoal is embedded down into the paper. This will be a much bigger mess. Yeah, desperate times do call for desperate measures. Luckily, this should disappear by the end. All right, so now I've got my shape moved down. Now if I turn it sideways once, twice, and a half, that puts my head right about here, which is really quite nice. That's I'm, I'm much more pleased with that. So that was a couple minutes work. It was painful. I didn't want to. I didn't like it. But it is what it is. You do what needs to be done. All right, so now I need to dress this up. I need to get this back into shape. So that point is about there. Down like this, down like that. This is in the wrong spot. If I come down off of this, that's where that should be. So redraw that in and let's take a look. That's closer to what I was measuring before. Still, maybe that's a little too high. I'm gonna check this angle. It is like that. It feels too steep, it feels too shallow like this, like it should be steeper, but when I measure the angle, it's not, it's not doing that. So I'm gonna stick with what I've got. is that maybe not quite so drastic all right like this I'm gonna measure this little distance here just to see like how high up does this stuff come that little distance is that's about exactly in half so it's right about halfway mark that's about where I've got it so happy with that this and in all right so I'm gonna compare this lobe to that lobe and see if they're similar see what size I think they're the same one two, they're just about the same the right one may be ever so slightly bigger so this this could probably move in just a tad I think down the middle of that is where that little hook is. This could probably come in. Let me just go boom to boom. Yeah, right there. Like that. All right, I'm gonna clean this edge up just a bit. Cuts back in. I'm gonna bring that little hook that I had back. Drops down like that. 
in I don't know if y'all hear the crying baby or not let me know all right so I'm back let's see I'm gonna just do another quick measurement boom and it goes once twice and a half ish once twice and a half ish so that's like top of my head <clears throat> good 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 all right now i can start fall filling this in right now if i want but i think i'm going to hold off a little bit i like to hold off until i have the shapes a little more uh, developed because who knows i might need to i might need to still shift this uh, set of shapes just a little bit all right, I'm gonna leave that bottom. Now I'm gonna work on this shoulders down to arms situation. And I think I'm going to start in the back, sort of just the broad sense of where the back is. Um, and then I'll grow the arms off from that. So let's see. If I take the width, and I've already done this measurement about three times. If I take the width here and go right off that point, straight vertical it leads me to a part of the back muscle there so let me one more time with that measurement off that point leads me right to the trapezius so this is right where that trapezius goes and there's like there's this weird three bladed like saw tooth thing going the shadows it's between the infraspinatus teres major and trapezius muscle um, it's giving me like a three, like three jagged peaks. And so I'm just gonna use that to my advantage. This rolls down, then it zags up again, down, and a little bit higher than that first one though, huh? Yeah, there's like an angle. Like if I look at the two peaks there, it angles up. So I'm gonna, Get rid of that one and angles up, then down. So there's kind of a, an ascending feel to it. And then this one lays just a little bit flatter. So that this center tooth is kind of the, the tallest one. It's almost like they exist on this little arc. Now, I don't know if I made them the right size I just know that there's three of them. I'm gonna run some verticals. I know this one is straight above. Like if I go straight off the point up right here, it leads me right through this vertical right there. So I feel good about this point. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna come like this and just do that, that strong vertical as well. Cause then I can go straight vertical down through that goes through this. So I think that could move over. If I, if I take this really long vertical, it comes right through the middle. Right through the middle of this shape. All right. If I drop a vertical off of this peak, what does it run into? A vertical off of that peak runs right through the center, right through this. So I'm in pretty good shape there. And then that third peak, this one over here, if I run a vertical through that, it goes right through this edge here. So now I feel pretty good about those. Because I, if I drop a vertical from here, it hits the edge of that hip. If I drop a vertical through here, it lands right in the center of this angle. If I drop a vertical from that point, it leads me to this point. That's pretty much what I've got in the image. And then I already did the measurement where if I take a side like this and go up, that's where the start of that, the top of that dark shadow is. I'm just going to double check that I'm not being, yep, that's what I've got. So, so I'm feeling pretty good about this shape now. All right, if I take an angle from this, I need to find the top of this shape where this other light island comes down. If I take an angle, it's like that. 
So that's kind of the angle between them. This one, now there's some stuff here. There's like some reflected light or something. There's some stuff here that makes it, uh, it looks like light, but it's on the, it's on the side of that form. So the trapezius kind of wraps into the spine and I can see that it's a glow. It's a reflected light is what it is. So I'm not going to add that. It does not exist. Instead, I get this kind of, I'm going to show off this light shadow edge between them. There's a little island out here and it's directly above this. This little divot that I put right here and this little angle change there, that's pieces. This is the triangle of the base of the spine. So I can use that as a bony, that's kind of a bony landmark. And if I go straight up from that, straight up from this, leads me to a little shape, little dark shape there, which is the trapezius, kind of this part of the trapezius, uh, where it wraps over the scapula, which we just talked about in the arms. All right, if I go from this, I need to angle from the, this, the bottom of this peak, I need to angle up, at a, it's almost a 45 degree angle, so, Here's where I lie to myself. It's like that. So I'm a little too far here. That's about what I see. That angle. Now I need to, I'm gonna, before I move too much further, well I'll move, I'll put this in. Before I move too much further, I wanna check the size of like this, like how am I doing height wise? Because this could be, fine and all side to side, like I feel good about those three peaks, but what about the height of this thing right here? I trust this shape, so I'm gonna take this height and just see if there's anything that's just like it down in the shape I already trust. And when I take that measurement, it is just about the dead same as this. So I'm a little bit short, if anything. Let's see, boom. Yeah, it's a little shorter than that. It's like this. So if I go up here, that little sliver extends just a little bit further up. I'm in decent, I'm in decent shape, but I need to verify this is at least in the neighborhood of that, which is pretty good now if I look at it. Maybe a little shorter up here, but I'm okay with that. Uh, if it was way off, if it was like twice as big or something, I know I'm, I'm in left field. All right, so I'm going to do that same vertical game along this edge here. There's also some cha angle changes. That jets up a little bit. There's a kind of a bulge up like that. If I go straight down, does it lead me, does this shadowy thing straight down lead me to the center of this angle? I'm going to check. And uh, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit further, I think. Um, I'm going to finish this off real quick just to get this sharp. Just to get that sharp bit. All right, so that sharp horn of shadow, but it's kind of like a, it's a pinch on the light shape. If I go straight vertical down from that, I'm kind of in space. So I'm kind of off to the side of this. I'm going to check the image for that same thing. You know what? I might not have gone far enough. I think this. That bump happens a little bit further. Like that. And then this. be just a little bit a little straight there with that hook and down that's closer all right and I'm gonna go ahead right now and get the top of the shoulders too just to kind of flesh things out a little bit because it's still pretty abstract, like especially this up here, it feels, I feel good about the measurements and stuff that I've done, but it feels kind of like chaos a little bit. So I'm gonna try and make some sense of the chaos 
Uh, there's some really nice sloping shoulders that are not quite symmetrical. There's definitely a lean and I've got the lean. If I go this point to that point, there's an angle. In my drawing, it's like this. In the reference, it's similar as well. So I'm, I'm making sure to get that lean. If I just go straight with it, straight across, that's gonna be a problem. So as long as I've got that lean and it's a similar angle to what I saw, I feel like I'm good. All right, if I go from the top of this, straight out like that, and so it's like almost, it's like a, an angled shot from the peak of this point, straight out gives me kind of the shelf and that the shelf of the shoulders where the acromion is that we just talked about, it's like straight above this. So it's like there. So boom, that's where I'm going to say acromion right there. That's where my angle break is. So if I go straight up from this shadowy bit, shoop, I hit that acromion. That's where my shoulder starts to take on this kind of angle. It comes out like that and it drops just a tiny bit still on this side of it drops just a touch and then zags like that this bit points to the rounded end of the shoulder the deltoideus and the angle change this angle change happens right about in line with that so I'm in a decent state there. It's almost just a vertical right there. Boom. All right. The bottom of this shape, where it starts to cut back in, happens right even with this little bulge here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And this is shadow. So the, the shoulder muscle turns into shadow right here. So I'm cutting across. There is going to be some shoulder in there, but I'm not going to draw it because it's in shadow. And then it turns. Then we see that tricep come out into the light. So that seems pretty harsh. Once I start adding value, I'm going to really soften that little bit right there. In fact, I might take some of that angle off of it right now. I'm going to make sure this is a real gentle transition so that it is as mild as it needs to be. I'm going to measure this width real quick just to make sure I'm not getting out of whack and compare it to something that I'm comfortable with. So if I take that, it's the same width as this. So I'm a little bit wide on that. Let me just double check that. There it is. And there that is. Yeah, it's about like it's about like that. So I am just a tad wide. I'm gonna ask myself where is it wide at? I don't want to cut too hard in right here on the shoulder because I don't want to feel like the Incredible Hulk or something. Like too craggy. All right, the tricep goes, ah, that's the problem that I'm having as well. The tricep cuts. So this angle, that's too long. If I look at the line of the edge of the light shape for the tricep, it's coming. It's like it stays within. It never goes out past that point there. So I think I was right about needing to make that smaller. And then it almost pretty much goes, it juts back out a tiny bit, and then it goes straight. And it looks pretty exaggerated right now, but we are going to flesh this stuff out later. Once we start adding the value, this will be much more sensible, I think. Jut that in. This goes like that and it's a tiny sliver 
this is one of those areas where it's like it might be in shadow it might be in light i think i'm gonna put that dark shape in just so we get the, the feeling of that tricep now, i need to watch myself because i'm getting into specifics right now and i don't know like where's that olecranon which is what that light spot you see it on the right side really strong um, where is it in relationship to this? And it's like an angle like that. So it's like that. Let me double check. Angle like that. And so I'm still a little bit too high. Boom. Boom to the middle. Boom. Boom to the middle. Yeah, so I'm making this arm just a little bit too short. So I don't want to get, I don't want to get lost in this stuff just yet. I need the basic shapes first. All right, I'm going to give myself an anchor point of that olecranon, and if I go like this, here's like that wrap of fabric, which I may address in a little bit. Um, if I go straight out from here, somewhere about there is where that light shape of the arm is, and I'm going to measure that distance just to see what it is. So there it is. It is, it's about like this. So maybe a little further. All right, so light shape of arm starts here. It's got an, an angle like this. Like that and cuts in. that then it goes up for a good long distance all right I'm gonna measure a couple of things here just to see this is starting to feel stretched out in a strange way um, it's longer it's longer okay hmm that feels a little bit tall let's check it Boom. It is the same as this. So not too bad. All right, so then I'm going to measure from this point, from the top of the shoulder, that angle change, down. I think that might be down to where the shoulder should be attaching. So I'm going to, it's this part on the tricep. So after the shoulder goes into shadow where it connects, where I can see it connecting in the shadow there. I'm going to use that as a point. And then I'm going to use this angle change. It's gradual, but I'm going to use it as a point as well. So right now I've got one, two. Let's see if I take that and go down one. That puts me right here and then through. So that's thirds. If I see it, let's take a look. One of those goes once to the top of that and the last is a little bit shorter. So one of these goes once to the top and the last is a little shorter. What does that tell me? It tells me this isn't long enough. So this should be happening a little bit lower. Once there, twice to the top of the arm and then a little bit longer. Yeah, so this needs to be just a little bit lower that's where the tricep comes in. So get rid of some of this info. And this is not long enough, which is crazy because it feels so long. I'm just going to double check. That is the same as that. So this is where you really have to trust yourself because you'll, you'll play these games with yourself. really quite a lot. All right, that's what it feels like to me. So I'm going to carry on. And I remember that I've got quite a bit more figure going on here. So these light shapes, like especially in this arm, it's going to feel long and thin. I'm okay with that. Um, 
if that's in fact what I'm getting, then that's in fact what is happening. So it's when I start going, that can't possibly be right and changing it because it feels weird rather than measuring it that I get into problems. So this is over and down. I'm going to clean this just a little bit. Get that shape. Right, I'm gonna call that for the arm. I'll st I can still shift this and change this, and when I lay that light value in, I may yet still shift some of the edges and change things just a little bit. Um, once I start laying in the light, it'll be a little clearer what's happening. So this, I'm gonna check the height of this shape. So from that hook up, It's like this, just a little past that height to there. So I'm a little bit high. And this accentuates that downward angle of the shoulders as well. So I'm going to, I'm going to play that game just a little bit. There's, if I go straight up from this peak, this direction. So that peak carries with it. I just carry on that's what ends that's what heads out to that shoulder shadow flat spot here let's check it should be right in the middle of that it is slope up if I continue this in kind of an arcing fashion that's where I get the neck Get for this now I'm not going to get distracted by the front of the face or so the jaw that I see around the back side that's in shadow as well maybe there's just a tiniest sliver that's in light I need to be careful with that I need to be careful in the back of this head uh, I'm gonna measure the width here and just see if I'm not getting things a little bit too wide width there it's the same as the height here so height here to width there I think I'm pretty good this cuts in and straight back out. That starts right above this neck angle, so boom. Just goes up, there's almost like a, I'm gonna call that a shadow shape as well even though it's just, it's barely on the border. That whole area is just barely on the border of being light versus shadow. Over here, it's like straight across from that ear. I have another one, and it's kind of, it's a little ways away. 
it's further away than you think. Just a little hook. Mm. The head seems flat now to me. If I go, this is almost too, I think that's too high. It's like down like that. Check the distance between them because it seems to be very far. But if I check it, mm, yeah, it's like this. Boom. Okay, so yeah, I've got the ears way far apart. Which tells me I feel like this is probably too thick. Like that. That's better. And then angle out. This may be just a little too low. All right, I'm gonna start filling stuff in just so that I've got a basis. For what I'm doing, I'll get to this arm in a little bit, but I'm gonna start filling some stuff in. Like I still trust this shape down here, so I'm gonna fill it. I need to be really careful as I fill this stuff in that I don't that I don't be too aggressive. If ever there's a drawing that I have to be careful with how I put the value in, it's this one. And I'm really just doing it's like weight of the pencil here. Just being patient with the tip of that the weight of the tip of that pencil. And again, this is just my preliminary pass. So I'm putting, I'm putting just one pass of value down. I'll come back into this and add more specifics. Like where is the shape lighter? How does it drop off? Is there a hard edge, soft edge, and so on? In the future, in future treatments of this. But for now, I'm just, if it's getting light, if there's light shining on it, I'm putting light on it in the drawing. So careful. And I may see things after I do this, I might see things that I didn't see before that I can address and fix. I'm gonna come at this from a slightly different angle just to get rid of some of the streakiness. that feel mm. feels okay I still feel a little wide in the neck let's see this shape arcs up into the neck I'm just gonna take it's not really drastic but it's drastic enough I'm just gonna take a little bit off there and over and I'm gonna take I'm gonna slant, this is, I've got this vertical and I don't think it ever goes vertical. I think it needs to slant. This stuff needs to be gentler. This, this stuff is all on the lean. So, that leans instead, and then it leans a little harder. Then it leans some more, till it finally comes back, sort of the top of that shape. 
So I'm going to clean that up. Up, out, up. And I think this top, I do believe I have made this top to squat. And I'm going to double check that. So from the ear up. I don't know, to be determined. I think this this is a little bit too big. I'm just gonna get that ball of the back of the head first. Mm. in with a little darkness there. Light shape, light shape, and it happens just down from this angle. Light shape, and like that. Right? And then if I go straight, it's like straight off of this, that should come down the center of the neck. I think I've made this far too wide. Sorry about the stomping noise. It's the, the nature of being at home with the whole fam. <laughs> All right, now I feel pretty good about this being the other ear. That feels better. Still something clunky in this shoulder. Gonna ease up just a little bit on that. And yeah, I feel like it's an, a more elegant, it's a more elegant shape in the reference than I've got here. And I've got some decent wiggle room here because it's such a light shape. All right, I'm gonna carry the rest of this arm down because I think I'm ready for that. That's that dark edge. This, this arcs through like that. This cuts out and goes just about vertical. It cuts in a tad. There's that medial epicondyle and it happens just off. It happens like right here. Right there, so jut in and up. This is a rather elegant just long and thin arm. I'm gonna call that all light shapes. This line leads me, so if I go off of this little jut here, that line leads me up to the arm. And I'm gonna hold that for a second as I come here. There's a big sort of triangular shape like that of shadow. So there I'm just kind of drawing the shadow shape. And then up above that, there's another one that cuts like this, up, arcs down. Like so. Just real basic speaking, this one comes down and cuts in, it almost joins that shape. So I'm gonna ease this just a little bit. Let me know if I'm talking too quiet for you too. I get kind of going in my own head and then I stop thinking about how, what the volume level must be like. All right, I'm gonna fill this in. Do 
just real careful. I think I got a little bit wide through here. I'm gonna go ahead and ch chill that out, tame that down just a little bit. And I've got about 30 minutes left on this, so I need to move along. So I'm gonna start prioritizing some shapes I think I do want, I'm just gonna catch that little rectangle or that little sliver down at the bottom. And it is about, if I go past, if I go hip to that juncture, yeah, that's about right. So if I go hip to this juncture and straight down, that's about where it starts. So here, yep, that's about what I get. Just a real, Just a real light sliver. That's just going to give me a little, a little something. Just to help tie that figure in. I could go back and do the fabric too, just lightly, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. All right, so I'm going to add one more step of lightness in this side. If I look at this shape, it's definitely lighter right there. And Maybe even like one hit in the center there. And then this whole side. thinking about the light source here. So I'm imagining that the light's coming from above. So I'm going to favor anything that's, any surface that's facing upwards is going to get a little more attention. I'm going to be looking for the shapes to be lighter on the upper part. Because I know most of these things are turning down into the shadow, the upper parts are going to be the parts that get, that, that catch light. This light down here looks a little too, let's see, but the leg light looks a little too far up, like it should be lower. This one down here, potentially, we'll take a look. So that spot's starting to take on some dimension. I'm gonna get rid of this. This still feels like a dark shape to me, so I'm gonna lighten that up just a tad. And I'm just kind of chasing away the black, the black shapes, like the black parts of those shapes. Get a little bit of light, and, and smoothing these transitions. Get a little bit of light like that. This one has a little more oomph through here.
And I'm just going to try and get rid of the line here. Not really get rid of it, just kind of disguise the fact that it's a line. Soften that edge a tad. I'm going to take a measurement of that little sliver just to see the top of that sliver. All right, so I'm going to take the distance between this and the top of that sliver, and I'm just going to compare it to something else that I feel is reasonable. Boom. It is... It's the same as elbow to shoulder there. So that puts it coming in just a little bit lower. I'm going to verify that with another measurement real quick. So that same distance is elbow to elbow, maybe a little past, so like that. That verifies it as well, and it's about the same amount. And I'm going to do one more just to see before I move it down. Boom, and it's horned, so it's horn of shadow to there. It's like that. And that gives me about the exact same point. So Gabriella, you are totally correct. From my measurements at least, it starts right about here. And I don't wanna, I'm actually gonna pop some of that off because it's so far away from the light source. I just want it to be a real gentle It's just a hint that there's something down there. All right, I don't want it to be screaming light. All right, so back up here, I really wanna make sure I do a reasonable job here in the back because that's kind of where the, the most interesting stuff is happening. So there's a light shape here. There's a light shape just above that going like this. There's kind of a dark shape and I'm gonna pull it out with my eraser and put it back with my pencil just very lightly. All right, I'm gonna obscure this line a little bit. I'm gonna soften this edge because this is a shape that's turning into shadow. And I'm going to sharpen this edge. So I softened the other edge. Now I'm going to sharpen this edge. And I'm going to pull that. I'm going to overshoot. And then thin that out just a little bit. All right. So there's that. And going that way. It comes in this way as well. This isn't really a dark shape. It's darker, but it's not super dark. So I'm going to give that a little something. Yeah, I was running into the short leg situation where it's... Uh, and it's easy to do when you see the bottom of the page coming. You condense things up and yeah, that's just... I do that as well. So if that happens to you, don't feel bad. That's, it happens to everyone. All right, this... There's kind of a shelf, like that spine of the scapula we were talking about, out to this acromion, marks an area where everything shifts into the light a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and give everything that's there a little bit more. Light. And then even more through here. And I want to get rid of some of these black flecks. before I start adding some more light. This is all very soft edged. Same here. 
I really don't want this to read like shadow, so I'm giving it, I gave it that first pass of light, I'm just giving it some more light. Um, and the only places that I'll take that back is probably here again. I'll just have a little dark shape there. Maybe even more. And this has a kind of a hard edge to it. that region this is kind of a an interesting shape right here. We've got somewhat of a soft edge here. This is Terry's major, so I'm expecting a little bit more light along the tube of that, which seems to be spilling up into there. That's a little dark, so I'm gonna bring it back. Now we have this area, which is really gentle. And I would say that edge is quite, quite a soft edge. I don't want that to look like the silhouette edge of the figure. So in order to escape that, I'll, I'll go address that in just a second. Once I pull this shoulder muscle into the light a little bit. So what I need here is a transition. I need a sharp edge here that feels like the silhouette of the figure. So I'm going to really clean up this edge to get it nice and crisp. That's going to give me my silhouette. And then I'm going to come down here and have a softer edge that kind of softens up and it's going to help it not read so much like the silhouette. Chasing some of those black dots away to get a smoother feel. I'm going to bring this back, boom, overshoot it just a little bit. And then I'm going to sharpen up this edge here. Then we have that tricep coming back out into the light. there. Now this whole area of the arm is getting less light than the rest of the arm, so I'm going to make sure not to make it as bright, like make it the lightest thing, right? It's just going to be... I'm going to kind of keep the value range in check all the way down. And a little bit, a little bit more light here on the elbow as it juts into the light. 
definitely more light through here as this shelf goes out into the light. A little hit of light there. Let's come up into here. So right about up to here and through here, there's a lot of light. There's quite a lot of light. So if I'm going to be heavy handed at all, it's going to be through this area. I'm still not going to go full bore there. I'm not going to go all the way light yet. I'm still going to build up to it. But I feel more comfortable laying the charcoal down more aggressively in this section. And you can see now, relative to what I'm doing now, down here, it's, it seemed strong before, but it's kind of getting gentler as we go. And it's just by comparison. It's compared to this other stuff. This is a hard edge, so I'm going to make sure and show that all the way down. These are very soft edges. We'll overshot that a little ways. So this edge, sharp. So the right, that edge there is sharp. The other side of it is soft. Everything through here needs to be brought up a little bit. This dark spot is where the trapezius kind of rolls under, and this model has a pretty thin one. We'll make sure not to overstate the bulge there. This is that spine of the scapula that we're seeing, sort of the bone, because this model is thin. The bone here sits a little closer to the surface and creates kind of a glow, a highlight gathers there. Probably doesn't need to be quite so dark. Then down below, there, we have right through this section, Infraspinatus muscle is what's making this little light shape. Inside of this trapezius is glowing, so we kind of have a lump, 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 and that's what's giving us that those three peaks as well. I feel like this one's a little too low. I'm just, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it needs to go up. So I'm going to restate that a little higher just to take some of the some of the beefiness out of the shoulder there. That feels a little better. I'm going to soften this edge though, just so it appears to be rolling into the shadow. Get 
get that shelf back. That acromion is important. So I'm going to get it back and re restate that swoop of the neck. Hmm, and I think I'm going to take a little more of it out. That feels a little better. <clears throat> All right, I still need the shoulders to feel like they're rolling into the light, so that's what I'm going to do right here. It's like there's that. There's a light border right there. And then all of this. Stronger. That gives me it's giving me a basis to compare what I've done so far. Some of these shapes that looked like light shapes before, like too light, are now looking too dark. So I'm just going to come back in and encourage them to stay, to still be light shapes. Now I've decided that up in the top is where my strongest lights are gonna be. So up in the shoulders and the head region. So as I go down this arm, I need to keep that in mind that I don't start pouring the gas on the light shapes here. I want them to be, I want them to be more subtle as they go further away from the light source. I might still come lighten this one up a little bit, but that's about it. All right, this should be a, that should be a hard edge. What time is it? Ooh, five more minutes, my goodness. I'm gonna have to finish this one on my own. So I'll pick up the pace just a little bit here. Got all these pinky marks from where my pinky's resting on the page, getting in the charcoal, and then leaving a mark. All right, let's get behind your ear.
it's like a bulge of light out here above this shadow. It's like it rolls out into the light. And, aha, uh -huh, this ear, that bulge happens right behind the ear. So I've got it just a little bit too low, I think. Then it cuts over into the ear and down. So that needs to come up. And that needs to come up. That'll give the head a little more structure. Move this down a little bit so y'all can see. I just realized that you don't see it so well. All right, so I'll finish this one up. Uh, that is it for this reference. So for this Sunday, what you're going to turn into me is going to be one of the two drawings that we did. Hopefully, you did two, so you have a chance to do a better version. You know, one of them is likely to be better than the other in its execution. Um, but on Sunday night, you will turn one into me. Um, that same time, you'll put it in the discussion area for critique as well, so that people can see and respond to it. Um, and then you've got the regular gesture set and stuff as well. Yeah, no problem, Margie. I just realized that I, as I was looking at my screen that the, it was cropping the top of the head off. So, so if you have questions about this drawing or due dates or anything like that, uh, Margie, I need to talk to you if you didn't get my message. Um, come see me in the Zoom meeting that I'm going to start presently. Can't stop. All right, enough. All right, I'm going to call it, y'all. I will see you perhaps in the Zoom meeting. If not, we will see you. This is the last live stream for beginning this week. So we'll see you on Monday with a new approach. Uh, you can look in Canvas over the weekend for, um, you can look in Canvas over the weekend for an update. Uh, I think I might just link to a lecture that someone else does on the full value shading stuff that we're going to go over because I think they do a pretty good job of it. Um, rather than just record my own saying all the same stuff, I have yet to decide on that. But keep an eye on Canvas. Come on Monday ready to do another drawing.